Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to customize the property details section using the property custom template for Elementor. For this property I have already assigned a demo custom template and next I will show how to change the details section and how to add only the fields that you want to show. By default the details section will display the default fields and the custom fields that you added in team options. The first step is to edit the custom template assigned to this property with Elementor. You will have it here. I have Navigator enabled to see better the sections used to create this template. I will click on this section. Here we use the detail section widget, but this widget will display all default fields and custom ones. Next, I will recreate this section using the text with property details widget and I will add only the fields that I want to display in the details section. First, I will remove the details section widget. Next, I will look for the text with details widget. This is the one with drag and drop. I will add it here. And now I will start adding the fields that I want. For example, I want the first field to be the property ID. In this list, you will find all default and custom fields. And to add the field that you want, you will first need to add manually the field label. So I will type here property ID. And for the value of the field to be displayed, you will need to copy this code and paste it here. You will see now the label that I manually added and the value of the property. You can add more fields here or you can add another text with property details widget. I will add more fields in the same widget. So next I will add rooms. I will copy this code. I will type the label and paste the code. You will see that the new field also shows. I will also add bedrooms and bathrooms. These are default fields, but here you will also have the custom fields added manually in team options. So I will add a custom field as well. I will add the structure type and copy the code. These are the details that I want to display in the property page. Next, you can change typography for these fields. For example, you can make the labels to be bold or change colors. I will save changes. And now I will show how the new section will show in the property page or refresh the new fields that I added will show. Going back to the custom template, I will show the other sections created with the same widget. Here we added price. You can see that we added only the code and changed design elements. Here we added the address with the same widget. And this widget can be used to add favorites or print, as you can see here. Or you can use the same widget to add social share and other elements that you can find in this list. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.